Thank you, Madam President, Commissioner and colleagues. Blocking websites, shutting down the Internet, or tracking and tracing human rights defenders via surveillance software is intensifying. While hopes were high that democracy could go viral because of the open Internet and new technologies, instead it seems that technology amplifies relations of power. Dictators are using sophisticated technologies to repress, while individuals are joining forces to make their voices heard. And the key question for us is how to make sure that the European Union stands with people who are facing repression and how we can further facilitate the enjoyment of universal human rights online and offline. It is more important than ever that we in Europe take the lead in advancing and defending the right to freedom of expression, access to information and the right to privacy. We can do this by coming to the defense of journalists or bloggers who are intimidated and silenced by ensuring encryption is used widely to secure information, to push back at the highest political level when websites are blocked or speech is silenced. The 2014 guidelines on freedom of expression online and offline were adopted after a clear push and demand from this House. It was a welcome step but three years is like a century in light of the rapid technological developments that we see. So if we want to continue to do what is needed, we have to stay up to date and up to speed. We must build on best practices and make key improvements based on the lessons learned of the use of these guidelines. Now, I have one specific question to the Commissioner. Can he reflect on what is the status of the no disconnect strategy? It was part of the uh, plan to stop the blocking of websites, the silencing of bloggers, and it has been a bit silent. So it would be good to get an update on that as well. Thank you.